Hey Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics, what's happening? My name of course is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online, and today I am going to go on my shelf and grab one of my own models and show you something special. Hey Danny, can you grab me that 77 GMC Wrecker truck? This model is actually on loan from my friend James. It is of course the 1977 GMC Wrecker from Ravel. And this model kit is really nice. It's very simple to put together so that you can have some fun showing a new beginner or maybe you don't really feel like doing much of a huge project for the day. So you can always take out this wrecker and in a few hours have something that looks really unique. Now we wind the clock all the way back to 1977 as we check out this amazing GMC wrecker truck from Ravel. This is a skill level 2 truck and as you can see it's got the opening hood and all this great tow truck detail in the back. And this was manufactured by Ravel in 2011. And here once again we've got that amazing tow rig and as you can see there are the controls down here on the back of the bed as well as a textured plate. And now let's take the lid off our 77 GMC Wrecker pickup truck, a skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up in 125th scale. So right away we're greeted with our instruction sheet, which again looks quite nice. Here we have our glass in a nice bag, so it's protected from scratches. Then we have our tires over here, as well as our white plastic components for the top. There's our decal sheet, which we will take a look at at the end of the video. And another bag full of white plastic components. Then we've got our chrome down here, and that concludes the look of that. Here we have our instruction sheet and as you can see we've got the nice build up of the model in black and white as well as the front, rear and side view blueprint style on the side. The step one is a little bit unique as it shows our cab getting the inside painted with some semi-gloss black and then our glass going in the top. The next two panels shows the interior bucket with the center gear shift, a dashboard and a steering wheel with column all being glued together and painted and then that component gets dropped into our cab. Panel 2 shows our suspension components being glued down to the chassis and if you notice this the chassis actually has the engine block molded in place so then you're dropping in the front axle which has also got the springs and the axle and the tie rod as one piece and then our rear differential drive shaft and springs in the back so this is very easy to build for a new beginning model builder. In this panel we see that we've got our mud flaps being put onto the back as well as our dual wheels and the front wheels and tires which all click onto these axles so make sure you have any seam lines in there clean so that these wheels will rotate perfectly. And here's how we assemble our wheels and tires. Here we've got the two tires that go on the back as well as this really deep wheel and then a backing plate and for the front it's just a single tire with our wheels up here going in again to a backing plate. Panel 3 shows the chassis and frame assembly being attached to our cab and as you can see there's a locking tab which just pushes through the front and then the back of the cab clicks onto the back of the chassis. Now panel 4 shows the rest of the cab going together and if you'll notice here is our engine upper as well as the air cleaner and then we have the roof with all the lights and our horns and then here we have our hood being dropped into place as well as the grill and this nice bumper with the overriders. Now this is where our build starts to get a little more intense. Here we have the three piece winch for our tow truck as well as the controls which go onto the back pan. Then down here it says note household thread for cable not included so you'll have to supply that yourself but you will tie it onto the winch here and then leave it loose so that when you put on this bar here it can uh, find a nice place to go and then you've got your back panel here. The next panel shows our two piece lights for our wrecker being attached up onto the roof of this back panel and then we have our bulkhead being glued into place over the back of this panel. All of these components get dropped onto the back end of the chassis of our pickup truck and here we actually have the wrecker crane being glued together so there's our right and left hand sides as well as these nice shocks and struts and then there's our boom. The boom then pops into place into this slot and these holes here 
And then we can attach our nice chrome rear bumper onto the back. So here we show the thread going in through the top end of the pulley on our boom. And then there's the hook that gets tied to the back. And then we have these components here, which are also used for hooking up a car. Panel nine, our final panel shows the chrome mirrors being glued onto the side, along with the antennas. And then we've got our handrails being glued onto the back of the truck bed. And our final panel shows where all the decals go. And here we have the 555247 hall for the phone number for this tow truck, as well as the back. And then we've got the nice sides of our tow truck with the emblems. Gee, Trevor, I don't know about you, but this unboxing video is making me hungry. Me too. How would you like some bagogi chicken? What is that? Bagogi chicken is a Korean dish that I found on a YouTube channel called Chop Chop Recipe. Will it take long? Danny, I can cook this faster than you can scrape down a model kit's seam lines. You just need some simple ingredients and cooking utensils. And you too can make a great meal like this. Chop Chop Recipes shows you step by step how to cook fast, easy Asian food. Awesome! Now let's eat that bagogi chicken and get back to our unboxing video. And here we have the cab of our tow truck, and as you can see, the engine is molded in place. So this will be very interesting to try to paint and whatnot. It does have some nice detail. You can see the grill on the radiator. Very nicely done. The sides look nice. The back looks nice. Usually they have ribs inside here on this back panel, but I think with the towing rig behind it, you can't really see. Now, the only thing that's interest or interesting about this really is the big hole in here for the actual roof panel to be glued in place on. But overall, I would say this is a nice kit for the beginner. Almost a snap together, but with some glue. And this interesting piece is the actual bed of our tow truck. If you turn it on the side, you can see how it looks. Uh, very cool with this uh, sort of Targa type of uh, handlebar up here. Almost like a race car in a weird way. Uh, there is a little bit of a warp right here, but I think that can be easily straightened once it's glued to the body. Again, nicely done on here, but very simplistic and easy to assemble. Our next parts tree includes the back of our pickup bed. And again, it's got this nice textured plate on here. There's our Chevy hood for 77, and here's the top of the roof and the rear bumper. I thought it was chrome from the instructions, but I guess it's just body color. However, the detail on here is quite nice. Again, we see a lot of holes in it, but that is for the alignment of the other components. And then underneath the hood, that I, that's a piece of tape that says Northbrook, Illinois on there. There are some sink marks on here, which again, or mold marks, pardon me, which will have to be taken out with your sandpaper or your number 16 hobby blade. But overall, I would say the detail on this is quite crisp, and if it's easy assembly, that makes it all the more fun. The next parts tree includes the back of the back of the truck <laughs> and the upper bar, as well as our towing components, including our winch and our arm. So again, very nice. There's those hydraulic shocks as well. So taking a look at this up into the camera, you can see again, the detail is nice and crisp, especially on that emblem in the boom. And then of course, all our little components. So again, not too bad. Some old marks have to get rid of, of course, as usual. All the parts are numbered on here. So again, nice for the ease of assembly. Now here we have the interior components of our wrecker. And again, it's very simplistic, but very nice in the same token. There's our racing type steering wheel with the col column on the back. Then here we have our front suspension, as you can see, all molded as one piece. This is the solid axle front end. So again, very heavy duty for towing. Taking a look at that interior, there is some nice uh, broadcloth on the upholstery and our pedals are molded in place down below. Turning it over, of course, so we've got mold marks and some little funny mold button hole things that are all on the bottom here, which of course you need to clean up. There are some sink marks, or mold marks, pardon me, on the springs, well as well as maybe some sink marks. All these can be corrected, of course, with files and sandpaper. And remember to scrape your seam lines on these axles so that your wheels will be able to turn and rotate on the axle itself. 
And here we have our next parts tree with, of course, our wheel backs, as well as those mud flaps, our rear axle and differential with the springs. And you can see again, this is extended for the tandem rear axle. And then we have this nice 1977 GMC truck type dashboard. Again, very nicely done. Look at that. You can listen to ABBA on that radio and no one will judge you. Okay, maybe they will. I don't know. But at any, any rate, uh, there is our parts tree. And again, it's amazing. And here we have our chassis. This does have a bit of a warp in the parts tree. So hopefully on yours, it's nice and even. But as you can see, again, this is very much like a promotional style model kit in that you have your engine molded in place with the exhaust pipes coming out the side. Again, you're going to have to paint these. You could also file the rounded edge of that exhaust pipe just a little bit and then drill a hole in it for a little more realism. There's the push overrider front bumper as well as the top of our engine block all as one piece and then the straps here to hook up a car with. So again, very simplistic, but uh, very nicely detailed on the other side of the coin. Again, pretty awesome. How many of you have actually built this model? Let us know down in the description below. How did you like it? Did you like the ease of assembly? Or were you looking for something more advanced and highly detailed? Anyway, let's carry on. Next up, we have a very beautiful chrome tree. And I know there isn't much chrome in the 70s, but still, the way this is treated is really nice. You have the grill here with no bars or interruptions in it so that you can see through into that nice radiator firewall. So remember to paint that flat black on the radiator and firewall. Look at those nice style wheels. Look like a big rig. <laughs> Again, very well done. There's our air cleaner with the snorkel tube out the side. And there are some pedals, or sorry, control levers here. One of these broke off, it's in the bag, so don't worry, James. There's that hook, and again, our light bar on the bottom, and those handrails. There's our horns, very nicely done. You can see the simplicity of these wheels. Remember, though, to keep this all nice and clean when they pop on those axles. You can see a hole through the center, so that's where the little cap of the axle is going to pop through. So make sure everything is clean in there so that these will rotate on your shelf. Next up, we have our glass components for our tow truck. And as you can see, the windshield and the rear window are attached with these nice rails. You could remove them if you want, but I don't know, for ease, it's always nice to keep them in. Make sure you get rid of the mold holes up under here, the mold marks. The side windows are also molded in, so this will click into the body nicely. There's our little light bar up the top. Now you could paint this with an amber or maybe red and blue or something like that. But again, very simplistic and very easy to do. As you can see, these components are pretty straightforward and they will give you some glass for your wrecker. Next we have our tires for our GMC wrecker. And as you can see, there are no names on the sidewalls, so they're very generic. But the tread pattern on here is really quite nice and it will look like an accurate heavy-duty truck once you get these all put in place. And finally, here are the decals for our tow truck. And as you can see, we've got the 24-7 towing symbol on the side. You got the 07 number here and then our 24-hour emergency services number and our phone number for our tow truck. And again, all these cool little stars and different names and other scripts on the side. So again, a very cool looking decal sheet which will really dress up this model. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our 1977 GMC Wrecker on loan from my good buddy James, 104 Good Buddy. So if you wanna join us in building a model, check us out on Saturdays over on the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage at around one o'clock my time. It's gonna be different in your time, of course, but you can always bring a model and tune in. It's a live stream, so of course we get a lot of fun there. And until next time, everybody, check out our website for our model cars for sale, www.monster-hobbies.ca, and we will see you out on the road, good buddy.